ladies and gentlemen, we have something in the mail sack. Bexta, should we finally, should we open up this package that you've been probably dying uh, to see, you know, if, if it's reached me or not? My dumb cat's down there. He's just gonna have to wait. Um, there we go. Uh, hold on, I gotta finish my Coca Cola. The mail sack. This this package came to me all the way from Australia. Dan Enda. A place that I would love to visit again, but don't want the. I don't care for the the, the long plane trips. Oh shit! I did bring it over here. I, I am ready. I'm prepared. I am prepared. I've got the Metal Gear Rising letter opener. Just one of my favorite knickknacks that I have hanging around. Um. All right, I'm gonna try and tear into this. I I don't want to show any labels. Uh, that was something I learned the hard way about early on. Whoa! Is the weed good down under? Um, I recall it being quite delightful. But then again, I'm not like a weed connoisseur. Growing up in in Montana, it was just like you either had weed or you didn't. You never would put in, like, special requests for, you know, certain strains from your dealer. It was like, can I get a dime bag? A lot of tape. A lot of, a lot of tape. Let's tear into it. God damn it. Perhaps I should have brought the scissors over. <laughs> this would have been better. This, uh, this, this device is for opening letters. Not, not boxes that are well secured. Uh, Skirm! With the 39 months! What is going on, dude? Oh, shit. Yeah, this thing can, like, barely tear through the, the top tape. Whoa. And this is fragile. I'm a little concerned right now for the, the contents in the package. This had to pass a lot of hands. What the fuck? Yeah, the letter opener was definitely a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, give me a fucking butter knife. At least that, ha that that would have a serrated edge. There we go. We're making it. We're making it. It's happening. It's happening. I'm like carving into this thing like a fucking cadaver. I thought I was going to say Thanksgiving turkey, didn't you? We're not there yet. Okay. Whoa, careful with the labels! <sighs> oh my god. It smells like... Baxter. <laughs> so, just a reminder, this is... This is, like... This is a package from one of my fantastic mods, Bexta. It smells like Bexta's house. It smells... Delightful. Like... Like potpourri. And marsupials. Uh, let's take a look. What do we got? What do we got? Bex, the, thank you so much, by the way. And if it... Seems like I'm opening this weird... It's because it's I, I just do not want labels shown. I don't want any kind of information shown. So, we have... Starting off, we have a variety of packing material. We got... The also satisfying bubble wrap. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the shit. Oh my god, yeah. Um and then we got like some of the big, you know big poppers. Those were duds. There's plenty more where that came from. Okay. That's enough of that. Um, oh my gosh. We have a letter. A letter from Bexta in Bexta's handwriting. It says, man, 
It's kind of long, so up to you if or when you read it. Um, Bex, I would love to read this. I just need to know, is this like... Is this a private letter? Or is this is this something to be shared with mankind? I will gladly read it. This ain't even that long! This is not even that long. <laughs> Yuhi, it's a love letter! Uh, you're okay with it being shared? Bexa, I, it would be my pleasure to share this letter. Um, so... <clears throat> Bexter writes... Hey, man! I've been meaning to send you something for the longest time, but could never figure out what to send. Everything I came up with either didn't seem good enough or didn't work out. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, I wanted to send something as a way to say thanks... Full stop. Uh, your stream and your community has helped me much more than I could put into words. Recently, I went through a really tough time with my anxiety. Ugh. I know what you're talking about. Uh, I had to be put on extra medications, including Valium. Oh, I'd love to give me some of that. Uh, and I was so close to being hospitalized. It was like a week-long constant panic attack, and it was terrifying. I was scared to be left alone. I'm still having to work on that all these weeks later. Oh my god. But towards the end of that week from hell, you started streaming again. It gave me something to focus on, other than the constant fear I'd been feeling. Participating in chat, being a mod, and watching you play, and rage... ...at games, really helped me to get some relief from that anxiety. So for that, and for everything else over the past several years, I say thank you. You've helped me out in uh, so many ways, and I wish there was some way to repay you, or return the favor. And I hope one day we will get a chance to meet, and I can say thank you in person. Take care, and keep being you. Bexta. Bexta, that was a lovely letter. Thank you so very much. And, uh, all I can do is, is, is apologize for not being there more. Uh... This is amazing. Um, you've already you've already done you do so much for me uh, in in helping supporting me. Um, this is a wonderful way to to say thank you. Um, and um, this is amazing. Let's just let's just dig right in. Uh, part of the a tag. Oh my god. We got some Tim Tams! <laughs> the glorious, legendary... ...cookies. That we, we used to not get Tim Tams. But a while back, I did see some Tim Tams. In, uh, like a Target. Or somewhere. And I think I talked about these before, uh, like... Tim Tams... People here in, in America, they, they talk about Tim Tams in like these, these hushed... ...tones. Uh, Hula Hoolies123, thank you so much for the, the support, welcome to Mankind. And Xander and Victus, thank you for the six months. Super Mutant 2099 somehow I missed you, thank you, welcome to Mankind. Uh, Snipador. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Corpse Tree. Ditto. Hickst. 63, we got you. Okay, now I'm thanking people twice. Um, holy shit. But, um... Who's that? Miller! What's going on? It's Miller time! Thank you for the 19 months. So, Tim Tams... I just remember people would talk about Tim Tams. You know, like, it was... The, the second coming of Cookie Christ. And... You know, and then I had one. 
Alright, so I, I had my expectations up really high, and I just remember when I finally got a chance to eat a Tim Tam, uh... It didn't exactly blow me away. But, however, these are, as I'm sure you've already noticed, double coat Tim Tams. The most irresistible chocolate biscuit. See, that's just weird. That's just off-putting already. These are cookies. Are we going to have that discussion now? Yes, we are. The rest of the world needs to figure out what the fuck a biscuit is. Okay. These are cookies. If you want some biscuits, I'll take you down to the Cracker Barrel. Okay. Get you some biscuits and gravy. Uh... Exactly, where's Spamfish? He's probably lurking somewhere. Um, so the Tim Tams. We have we have Tim Tams. Uh, here we have... Oh my god, we have more! <laughs> we have the regular old and busted Tim Tams. I need to make sure that I eat these before I, I dive into the double coat. Because these are like... Whatever. I mean, this this might as well... I might as well just throw this in the, the, the packaging pile. Just regular old Tim Tams. Who the, who the fuck wants regular old Tim Tams when you've got Oosh, the double coat, bitch? That's amazing. Well, the thing is with the Tim Tams, I, th I feel like I would want some milk to go with them. How, how... What is the proper way to eat a Tim Tam? Oh my god. This is amazing. This is... What is this? Cadbury... Dairy Milk. Caramello Koala. And you can't really read that. This is gonna be amazing. Cadbury Dairy Milk. Cadbury... I love Cadbury, by the way. Even though the, the Cadbury uh, candy that we get in the U.S. is now Hershey's, apparently. Apparently Hershey bought, like, I don't even know, I don't know how it even works, but the Cadbury products that we, that we can buy here in the U.S. is all somehow, like, processed or manufactured, like, through Hershey's somehow. I don't, I don't know. Um, so this is, this is a real treat. I love Cadbury's. It is Cadbury. How do you say it? <laughs> Caramello, Caramello Koala. We what happened to Caramello bars? I haven't had one of those in years. Those are amazing. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really enjoy this. Thank you for the dairy milk. I like how they just call it dairy. Hold on, is the product called dairy milk or is it caramello koala? Cadbury? Oh, no. Around here, around these parts, it's not gonna fly. There is definitely a U there. Cadbury. Okay, so Cadbury it is. Like, if I wanted somebody to pick me up one of these at the, uh,. At the local, uh, what do you call it? What, do you, what the fuck do you guys call them? Milk bar? Would I say, hey, could you pick me up a couple, uh, Caramello Koalas? Or would I say, would you, could you pick me up a couple da uh, dairy milks? The five and dime, yeah. Dairy milk is the chocolate, okay. I would, so I would, so this is a Caramello Koala, wow. That's amazing. I would open, I don't want to, like, eat, I'll eat something out of the, out of the, uh, out of the, the box. There's a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> the fucking names of candy, what is the deal? Another, uh, de delectable Cadbury item. A Curly Whirly! 
Oh my god, what the fuck is a curly whirly? I got some curly whirlies for you right here. Um... I like how they have the warning on the candy. It says, be treat wise. Enjoy a balanced diet. AKA, don't buy the fucking curly whirly. Okay, you don't need the curly whirly. Uh... That reminds me of, uh, what is that song? Myst uh, Mythic Striker, thank you for the ten bucks! Just sent ten bucks to say hey, to say anything, nothing. Thank you very much for that support. Uh... What is, what is the song? And little curly whirly gave my anus birdie whirly. Uh... I can't think of it right now, I got this Zelda music in my head. Uh, something about being revved up like a, a deuce. Wow, this was made in Poland. What the fuck is in... I, I just need to know what is in a Curly Whirly. They don't really list ingredients or anything. Is it... Bl yeah, blinded by the light, thank you. So, okay, so this is milk chocolate with a caramel center. Wow. So, this is essentially... A Curly Whirly is what happens when your... Uh... Caramel Koala melts. And it gets left... On the street. So, hold on to your Caramel Koala long enough. Let it get run over... A few times. You got yourself a Curly Whirly, my friend. It's all coming together. It's just repackaged, reprocessed. It's just, it's a lot of gimmicks. It's just, it's just gimmickry. I think I might, I'm, I want to tear into that curly whirly on this. <laughs> this is so great. This is so great. Um. So what do we got? Life's pretty straight. Without... Homosexuals! No, without twisties. Cheese twisties. And these look like a Frito-Lay product. Y'all got the Frito-Lay over there? Who the hell made these? Um... Twisties cheese flavored snacks. They're just... it's a snack. This really... it's... I'm getting like a mad, like, Frito-Lay vibe from the packaging. So this is made in Australia by the Smith's Snack Food Company. Oh, wow! And, uh, this is a registered trademark of the PepsiCo group of companies. Wow! Pepsi. PepsiCo. Is making twisties. Curly Whirl is like a flat twisted milk nut. That's what it felt like. It feels like uh, like it's gonna be chocolate caramel taffy, essentially. So this contains gluten. This is amazing. Bexta, I cannot wait to tear into all of this. Um So and this is just a note. It says just a selection of some of my favorite snacks that I don't think you get over there. So far, you're absolutely right. I don't I don't think we have any of this. The Tim Tams I saw once, I think it was like a fluke. What the fuck? This is another product that I would swear was was made by uh, Frito-Lay. But here we have Smith's. The original. And the best. Cheese and onion. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That is not a flavor combination I was expecting. like it's like two random ingredients on like a cheeseburger cheese and onion now I'm a big fan I like sour cream and onion which you know that's still a dairy and an onion so uh, this this might be pretty good but look at look at that 
Smiths. This has got to be um, like the Australian brand for uh, Frito Lay. It's got to be. Jalapenos King? Oh my god. I actually bought some jalapeno uh, pepper jack chips. And I only eat them when I'm pretty much out of any other snack food in the house. And they make me want to vomit every time I eat one. I still eat them though. Uh, so yeah, Smith's cheese and onion flavored crinkle cut potato chips. So these these are potato chips. I was gonna say, are these have these been processed so much that that they can no longer call them potato chips? Also, very interesting that you guys call cookies biscuits, but these are still chips. Would these be considered chips in the UK? I thought these would be crisps. This is very interesting. Uh, let me put this over here. They're not crisps. It says that I just what I figured these would absolutely be crisps in the in the UK. So y'all got cookie biscuits. But you don't do the, uh, the crisp chips. Interesting. It's interesting to see where you guys draw the line. Um, okay, I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna put these down here. Because I'm actually running out of room to put all the snacks. This is more packaging. We're gonna put all the packaging over here. There we go. Beautiful packaging. Um... Oh my gosh. And here is the piece de la resistance. A note on top says... I'm gonna try to read this in the camera. Really hope you like this. I had a blast painting it. I hope I like it too! I would feel so bad if I truly hated it and had to tell you right now, live on the stream, that I did not like it. That would be super awkward. Let's see, let's see how you did. Let's see how you did, Vexta. Because I will not lie to you. If I don't like this, I'm going to tell you right now that I don't like it at all. I don't appreciate you sending me. Wow. I need to be very careful here. This is amazing. Hold on. This is very strong tape. I need I need my my letter opener. Here's where I poke a hole through the painting. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let me be careful not to poke my eye out with this thing. Okay. Okay, and then once once I take a once once we take a look at the painting, uh, I'll ask you guys. Oh God! Oh God! Careful! Oh my goodness! Okay, I think that's everything. I want to be careful though here because it seems to be. Hold on. This is so cool. However, what's unfortunate is... What the fuck? Oh, why would you do this? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's popping out of the frame. It's, it's not broken. It's not broken. It's just, uh... It just kind of popped out of the frame. Um, damn. Hold on, just so just so we can see. <laughs> this is so great. Let me get. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's it's not broken. Nothing is broken. But I just want to make sure it's not going to pop out of the frame. That is so fucking cool. 
I love it! Bexta, this is amazing. Where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna have to put this on my mantle! I love it. I love it. I love how, like, you worked in the, the tie, the suit and tie look with the man versus game shirt. Perfect. Bexta, this is, this is amazing. Did you ser did you seriously, like, hand paint this? I... I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like, show you guys some detail here. There you can see my webcam. I was thinking, that, like, maybe you made, like, a stamp? This is so cool. Bexta. And also, the black is acrylic, the background is watercolor. Wow. Fantastic work, Bexta. You captured my image brilliantly. Um, and I want to say, fantastic job on the packaging. The fact that this is not broken, and the glass is not shattered into a thousand little pieces, um, that is also amazing. Bexta, thank you so much. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I, I think I actually am going to put it on my mantle. Um, <laughs> Bexta, you do have an amazing package. Um, and thank you for uh, letting, letting me dig into it. So what should I sample from the snacks? I wanna, I wanna try one snack and then, and then get back to uh, boring the shit out of everybody with uh, this like actually puzzling shrine. Um, the curly whirly. I wanna try the curly whirly. I wanna, well, I wanna try them all. But um, Bexta, do you have? Is, is there any like one item that you were like excited for me to try? The cheese onion chips. That that's yes. I just want to see what what people are thinking. Um, but I think I think Bexta will get final say here. Because we've got yeah we've got the uh, we've got the dairy milk caramello koala. I can't believe for like the thing being called the caramello koala how how tiny the product name actually is on it. Um. Hold on. So many snacks! Bex is trying to fat me up! And I thank you for it! Because I could use it. I could use the calories. Uh, oh, I do kind of want to see you try the cheese and onion. Oh my god, here we go. Well, here we go. I actually have them in my hand right now. I'm, I'm sorry, these are the twisties. Excuse me, there's so many snack uh, snacks. Here they are. Smiths. Cheese and onion. The original and best. I like I love how it wasn't it wasn't good enough for Smiths to be the original. They're like, we are the original and the best. It's like not only are we the original cheese and onion, uh flavored crinkle cut potato chips but we're we're still the best it's got some sodium best before January 7th 2018 so that's good <laughs> okay all right I'm gonna tear into this uh oh my god you guys have a I love oh my god I wonder if I could show this the nutrition information uh, on the bag. Sorry, I don't use autofocus. And, um... Also, the contrast is high. But anyway, I wanted to try and show you guys... It... Oh... Uh, uh, wrong finger. Right there. The listing for nutrition information. 
They list the amount of energy it has. You really can't see it, but... Um, Australia does not deal in calories. Austr Australia deals in pure, raw energy to be found in the food. So... Oh, here we go. Servings, uh, servings per package, 6.3. How many of you would say you could get 6.3 servings out of this package? Perhaps if we have some infants in the audience eating like five chips at a time. Nobody on the planet is going to get six servings out of this. Oh, and here we go. Servings per package, about 6.3. Uh, that's because the serving size is about 27 grams, uh, or about 15 chips. You guys, 15 chips, I mean, that's, that's pretty filling. Yeah, 6.3. I love how this is just a way for them to, like, lower the, the sticker shock. Uh, you know, of the, the, the nutritional value found within. Um. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, Sojwa, thank you for the $7.85. Um. Let me get, let me thank these other people. Zombie Owl 22, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you for lurking, Zombie Owl. Uh, Chekots, thank you for the two months. Why does it want me to do this and what does it do? It just pops up. An alert, which I will then ignore and then thank you later. Uh, but thank you, Chekots. Uh, welcome back. And Green Oz with the 15 months. So 60% of that pack is air. Feels bad, man. It was same shit over here. Okay, hold on. I'm going to eat it. Uh, Sojwa, think of the $7.85. Says Curly Whirly used to have a joke on the back of the packaging. Not sure if they still do. Has been 10 years since I had one. Also, Tim Tams are best with milk. You know it, of course. And that's because they are, in fact, a cookie. Um, you can also bite both ends off and suck the milk through like a straw. That sounds amazing. Thank you for that tip. I am definitely going to try that. Alright. I want to get the full blast of the cheesy onion air in my face. To be honest, I don't smell a hint of onion or cheese. Smells like your standard, uh, you know, regular Ruffles potato chips. Going by smells. There's like a hint of onion. But otherwise it just smells like greasy potato chips. Music was perfect. <laughs> I, that's good, because I wasn't listening. Again. Look at that. Look at the chips in the bag. This package made it all the way here from Australia. I, again. 10 out of 10 on the packaging. How do you send fucking potato chip? Uh, yes, potato chips. My brain wanted to say crisps, but they are still chips in Australia. Sorry, UK. You're just wrong. No, oh, I'm getting a good hit of onion here. First, I want to, you know, I want to test the nose of the chip. I'm just going to... Chow down. I'm trying to think of what. All right, here we go. Smith's cheese and onion. I like how it, it doesn't actually even say what is in the bag, on the front. It just says the original Smiths and the best cheese and onion. They got a picture. 
but it doesn't actually say potato chips anywhere on the front. Here we go. <laughs> this is so weird. It's good! I'm not getting a lot of cheese. It definitely, the onion... You definitely get more onion than cheese. Um, the cheese is pretty... subtle. The onion taste... reminds me of... Um, my mom used to buy this... Uh, the sort of like... Um, sort of like an instant soup mix. And, um, it kind of it kind of gives me like a, uh, it reminds me of like smelling like a bouillon cube, like beef bouillon. But that is, that, you know, I can't really say for certain what it, what it, uh, yeah, maybe like French onion soup, yeah, exactly. Like if you've ever, uh... smelled or tasted like like a like a, a dry I guess like onion powder yeah which is probably why it's so similar because that's exactly what they put on the chip they're good I will absolutely uh, be devouring these post stream That's good. Honestly, the um, the cheese is not uh, it's not very overpowering. You get, you get mostly onion with a with a kind of like real subtle cheese. It's not really like an aftertaste either. It's good. It's good. I dig them. No, I'm not gonna eat the whole bag. Do you realize how uncomfortable I am in eating in front of you guys in the first place with my microphone on? can't stand people watching me eat. Um, alright. I'm gonna close this. That's right. That's right. I just had two fifteenths worth of, uh, a portion. It is kind of funny. This is like, yeah, there's more people watching me eat the uh, Australian snack food than uh, when I was actually playing Legend of Zelda. Uh, P. Gimaro, PG Imaro 26. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, Polo Dan, thank you for the 10 months. This may be the greatest shit I've seen here. I don't get it. Um,. Should I try the curly whirly? Let me try the curly whirly and then and then we'll get back to me just staring at the fucking wall. The curly whirly. Let me let me check and see if there's a joke on the back. Nope, I'm getting ingredients. And Australia telling me to be treat wise. Enjoy a balanced diet. Yeah, I'm seeing no jokes. They got real serious with the curly whirlies. <laughs> now I can beat this puzzle! I know, I'm getting all the nourishment, I'm getting all the nutrition. This is great. Let me just ruin my palate by vaping first. Uh, give up your fears! Welcome back! Thank you so much for that support. I'm gonna tear into it. I don't even care what Bexta wants. I want to try the Curly Whirly. Holy shit. What the fuck is this? Okay, this is not what I was expecting. This is not what I was expecting at all. 
what is the deal? What is that? Why not just give me the full, you know, bar of caramel and chocolate? Why, why does it look like... Like a cat took a shit. Uh... While perusing the litter box. I don't... So, it kind of melted there a little bit. That is not curly! That's like zigzaggity. If anything, this should be a zag, uh, a zigzag bar. It's not as delightful of a of a name as Curly Whirly. Spamfish, have you had a Curly Whirly? Is this is this something that you guys have over in the UK as well? It smells amazing. Well, I mean, I guess it smells like chocolate. All right. A ziggity zag, yeah, swiggity swoogity, uh, bar. It's like a creamier milk dud squirt. I just say squirt because it's like they just squirted it out there. It's like if you took a milk dud, added more milk. Um, it's definitely it's like a it's like a creamier uh, car uh, caramel, caramel. Um, it is just caramel, it's just caramel and chocolate. Which is a great combination. It's, it's perfect. Why, you can't really improve on that. So this is good. Yeah, more milk, less dud. <laughs> it's fucking music right now. Hmm. It's great. I have nothing bad to say about any of these these snack foods so far. More milk, less dud. I don't know. I still uh <laughs> I would feel kind of cheated if uh you know, if I bought this wanting caramel and chocolate, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of air in there. <clears throat> I would say, you know, just don't, don't bother with the curly whirly. Um, but I guess it's, this. there's no, there's no fun in that. Either in the, the name or the product itself. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Curly Whirly was a bit worse for wear. Um, you gotta go eat. Baxter, thank you so very much. I love the painting. Um, I can't wait to put it up on the mantle. Get a Kit Kat, yeah. Hold on, I want one more bite. Okay. I'm gonna save the rest of the curly whirly. Cause I saw it. It's the same price as a chomp. What the fuck is a chomp? That sounds amazing. Uh, okay, so. Before my, uh. Switch turns off.